Hey guys, so I just thought I'd do this video. I'm just chilling here and I'm just thinking there's actually not that many phone networks. And I thought actually which one is the best phone network to actually have. So I've have I've had a variety of phone networks. So I'm gonna just talk about the ones that I do have that, that I do have that I did have in the past or what I currently um do you have i'm going to talk about mostly about service so much because a lot of the ones i've had is on page again not necessarily pay monthly um tariffs but i will talk about benefits and stuff like that as well for the ones that i have um use yes, the first one i'm going to talk about is vodafone now vodafone <sighs> vodafone vodafone so i remember having a vodafone now what happened was now before then I've always had O2 but I want to talk about not the worst but the negative experience first now with service so where I live it's not necessarily in the middle of nowhere but I found Vodafone was really awful for service um around my area not even just around my area like I remember around like my school as well, my secondary school it used to be pretty bad. So basically, um, how I ended up getting Vodafone is, um, I don't know if you remember, I don't know if they still do giveaways now because I don't really listen to the radio that much anymore, but basically Capital One used to do their chart shows on a Sunday and a lot of the time they'll do giveaways and one of the giveaways don't ask me what iPhone because I don't remember it was one of the iPhones anyway and I won and it was on the Vodafone network so I was like yeah cool I got it as soon as I put the sim card in I was like no it was so hard to get a signal in my house I was like I seriously need to just get a uh um why is my O2, that's it. I say, why has my mind just gone blank? I need to get an O2 soon. Because in the past, I've used O2. And I know, I know O2 services are really good and stuff. But Vodafone, it was so hard to get a signal. As I said, it's not like I lived in a village. But I don't live in the city centre, if that makes any sense. But it's not a village. Just pointing out. I don't want to really tell you my address. Because, yeah, stalking and everything. But... And that's where I live. It's like a coldy sack. There's a lot of the area I live is there. There's a lot of coldy sacks. But anyway, so I was like Vodafone, no. So I didn't really get the chance to play around with Vodafone. I've not had Vodafone after that because of obviously that bad experience and signal and everything like that. So I managed to get an O2 sim. Actually, I actually managed to get it for free. Was it free? No. What was it? Oh yeah, I think I brought a SIM card. It was about when the micro SIMs were just coming out. Or was this a different... Micro SIMs were just coming out. So I think I brought an O2 SIM. I ordered it free online, but it was like the normal full-size SIMs that we used to, used to have with phones. So um, I actually phoned them and said I needed a nano SIM, so they gave me a nano SIM free. So technically the SIM wasn't free, but they upgraded the sim for free if that makes any sense and i moved to o2 so o2 is my primary one that i always reach for just because they have really good um signal as i said when i look for a phone i look for signal and stuff i've also had a pay monthly with o2 as well which i'll talk a little bit about so the offers are pretty good i wouldn't say they're like really expensive or anything like that and um, with their pay monthly deals and everything like that and um, they do have i don't know if they still have it now where you um where you can upgrade your phone before the contract but i think all phones do that now anyway um all you have to do is actually just pay for what's left of your actual so basically what it does it splits the bill so you've got your bill well it's, it comes in the same but the way they um obviously it comes up on the actual statement they separate it so you've got the bill for the phone and then you've got the bill for the obviously the airtime um offer that you picked well not just airtime but the calls and everything like that so basically you could upgrade early as long as you paid for the whole price of the phone or what's left on the phone anyway um but now i think most most companies do that now anyway because they see anyway 
um, that phones are, um, there's lo- new phones that are coming out pretty much nearly every few months, really. Um, so they see that people may want to like switch really quickly and change their phone early and stuff like that. So, but before then, I think O2 were like the only company that would do that, so they were really flexible. Um, so that is O2. Next one is Virgin. So, Virgin, I've only had your, I had as a page you go, my mum and my dad has paid monthly um before but obviously I don't they're not smart they tell me anything about the contract and stuff like that I mean I could have asked them but it'd be a bit weird um but again with virgin great signal I've not had any issues with virgin signals or anything like that so uh, thumbs up with virgin I said I've not had pages you go by virgin um at all um the next one is three now I've not I've used three for a short amount of time. Um I'm from what I can remember the signal was alright. Again, I think it might have struggled a little bit. Um but I mean I don't remember much with three if I'm being honest with you. <coughs> I think I yeah, I'm not going to comment on free just because I don't remember that much about it. I believe I had a pay monthly contract with three before as well. Um, again, I don't really remember much about that, so I'm not really going to talk about it in much detail. I think three was the first contract I had on a phone. But yeah, for signal and stuff, I don't a hundred percent remember. I don't think it. I don't think it was like amazing, but I, I, I don't remember, so I'm not really gonna. I don't want to comment on something. I don't know nothing, you know, remember much about it. Um, Next one is EE, which I think is the last one of all the... um, So technically, I think I've tried all SIM providers. I haven't tried Sky. I believe BT BT have also branched into mobile phone contracts. I'm not 100% sure. So I'm currently with EE. Now, EE... Is probably the most expensive out of all of them. That's that's why I was a little bit. Should I try EE? I don't know. But saying that, so this is contract EE. Saying that though, they do have really good um offers on their contract. So basically, you can have um a swappable um sort of like add on. So this can include uh BT Sports um. It could include free, um, you know, doesn't eat free YouTube, so it doesn't eat out your data. I currently have, actually, the YouTube's under videos and has different other like video um app uh applications and stuff. Um, I think Amazon Prime as well. So they have different ones, and you can swap them at the end of each month, which is pretty good. So near the end of each contract, not contract, at the end of each pay bill, you can actually swap them, you can swap them around so you don't have to be stuck with the same one. So that's a really good one. Um, I believe as well, as well during this pandemic, I'm going to mention it anyway, EE is probably the only network that are offering, um, you know, support for NHS workers. I've not heard anything else with any other network, so there's that as well. And uh, when it comes to signal, signal is as I said, signal's great and everything like that. I wouldn't say it's like superior than like O2 or the others I've tried. It's just pretty much the same really. Um but yeah, don't be too put off with EE as they are expensive but they do you know they they're probably with the contracts that I've had, they're probably the best for like offers and stuff and like add-ons and everything like that. So they're probably the best at offering. So the price kind of matches of what they sort of offer in their contracts. Um and they tend to have the newest exclusive phones. So if you're after the Motorola flip phone and is it Samsung? Um is it Samsung? the other company that's doing it i mean if you're after them on contract it's, it's in the uk they're only exclusive to ee um but yeah so as i said i don't remember much about three i don't think this the the service was that great uh i do remember i remember the customer service they they use the customer service um well okay i'm not 
Customer service wasn't great. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm like, I'm not gonna get into that. I remember that fully, but all I remember is that it wasn't as bad as Vodafone. But I know I can vaguely remember. I don't think it was the best. But even if it was like the best, I would, I would have obviously picked up another three phone or another three sim. Um, if you're probably wondering what is the best. Um, network. I'm gonna sc- I'm gonna go with O2 just because they're close to my heart. As I said, um, I'm currently still on E. I've not been with E for that long, so you know, um, still like testing every well, not testing everything, but you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, that is it for this video. So bye guys. I also forgot about T-Mobile. <laughs> See, T-Mobile doesn't, right, okay, so T-Mobile doesn't exist in the UK anymore, but it does exist in America, Um, but I remember my mum having T-Mobile, it was when we first moved into the house, and yeah, T-Mobile didn't really work either as a network. I personally never had T-Mobile, but I remember the problems like my problems that my mum had with T-Mobile um when we first moved into the in, into the house we're currently in so T-Mobile well T-Mobile doesn't really exist but I was going to say T-Mobile and Vodafone are just no go uh for the areas where I'm in I know Vodafone didn't really work out anyway outside the house that very well either but I thought I'd mention that because I completely forgot about T-Mobile because obviously I said they don't exist. I was like, oh my God, T-Mobile, mum had T-Mobile. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I forgot another one, guys. When I was looking for a thumbnail, well, not for, just for a thumbnail for the like whole video because this is a obviously a um, voiceover. I forgot about Orange. Orange. Orange was literally the first network when I was like 13 with the brick of a Nokia. I remember it now. Um, from what I remember from that network is that was expensive. I think now Orange is EE, I believe. Um, but yeah, from then I remember Orange was quite expensive. That was just on page you go. Um, well, yeah, I thought I mentioned that. I forgot about Orange. I'm like looking for someone now, and I see Orange. I was like, I remember Orange, but yeah, Orange was like my first network. I used. Wait, the first network network I had when I was like 13. Um, but yeah, from what I remember, like sending text messages were a lot, and phone phone calls as well was quite a lot. So Orange was quite pricey actually. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd include that one as well because I completely forgot about Orange.